definitely open up um, the floor to questions, and if we run out of questions, I can always ask more. So just make sure to um, speak loudly and clearly, and maybe state your name so everyone can be more friendly. Yes, in the back, the very back. Um, in about a year and a half, uh, <clears throat> Israel have held on to the remainder of the territories they captured in 67 for about <clears throat> the same amount of time that the Soviet Union held the Baltic states. Will there likely be a comparison that becomes, uh, you know, to a crescendo in the public discourse? What is the relevancy for new media or Israel's image? In, in, in all media. Sorry? In all media, print, broadcast, radio, social network, blog, etc. Once again, what's the question? In about a year and a half, Israel will have held the remainder of the occupied... No, no, I have to, what is the question? Do you think uh, a growing cacophony will spread across all media regarding that point? No. Why not? I don't believe so. Because I believe that the, that the old media, or the people who write for the old media, are open-minded. They know how to distinguish between different situations, and these situations are not the same. No, just one second there. No, would you like to answer? I don't like historical comparison as well, but I would say that the situation in the West Bank is, as the president says, uh, unsustainable. And uh, I think that in a year and a half, regardless of the analogy to Soviet Union, Israel will face a growing pressure to, 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 to do something, unless something very dramatic happens in the Middle East, you know, a new war, attack on Iran, or whatever. I think that Israel will face increasing pressure. I don't think the uh, I don't think the analogy to, to uh, the Baltics is very good, but I think that uh, a lot of the tactics used against South Africa are being used today to uh, social networks and to uh, the use of the new media. The BDS movement is on the rise through so, and and it's a tool that works on social media. You know, yesterday I saw the clip of the hacklers from Jewish Voices for Peace in New Orleans. Uh, and um, and th these, these things couldn't have happened before. So I do believe that uh, uh, Israel will face increasing pressure. Uh, as much as I criticize Israeli government, I think there is a bit of a tragic situation because I think most Israelis are beginning to realize what deep troubles are we in, but they just don't know what to do about it. I think most people today, with regard, both Israelis and people who care about Israel, more than support one solution or the other, are confused, anxious, and very much scared of what the future holds. And this, th these fears bring them, instead of taking action, which is the right solution, I think, to par par paralysis, you know. And we see a system which is really, really stuck. And, and, and I feel both as an Israeli and both as someone who cares about human rights and, and, it, and it has, you know, his reserve on his government policy, I think this is something that concerns me very much. I I can relate to what uh, Noam said about the Israeli society, but at the end of the day we have to remember that the Israeli society is the one who chooses the current government. I mean, the Israeli society which voted for peace, which voted for a Rabin in the past and then voted for, for a, a, a parties from the left, today the Israeli government choose a right-wing government, and the question is why? I mean, how come a society change all of a sudden? And I don't believe that the Israeli society change. I believe that the Israeli society still wants peace. I still believe that a, 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 the peace
peace camp in Israel is still the same in the, is the same is the same peace camp uh, as before. The only question which which changed is under which conditions, and therefore knowing the Israeli society and 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 referring to what Noam said. A, yes, the Israeli society today is paralyzed because of the the recent years, because of the the, the recent history that we all that we all uh, know. Uh, it's, it's it's sad. It tra it's tragic. Uh, I wish it was differently, uh, but we all have to ask, ask ourselves how come. And I don't think that the blame only remains on Israel's side. I think that the other factors, the Israelis saw what was the reaction of the Palestinians, the Israelis saw what were the reaction of the Arab world, a, a, and, so, and, and so forth. So at the end of the day, if I'm looking about the situation today, and I live in Israel, I'm connected to, to the Israeli society, I see my friends, I see the people I'm living with, I see the, the, I, I see the people around me, they still believe in peace. They still want to see to the two-state solution. They still want a, 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 to see a, 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 a settlement for, for, for the peace process. But unfortunately, they are not brave enough, maybe, to take some actions. But as I said, we have to ask ourselves what's the reason for that, or what happened in the last 10 or 15 years which brought us to, to this situation. Nathan, uh, I would like to use my right to comment. <laughs> yes, so just I keep just if you wouldn't mind keeping it brief, just because I want to give as many yeah, people as possible to ask you questions. No, about about this point of Israel electing one government over the other. This is true for many debates in Israel, but this is something that I think is really irrelevant to the Palestinian question, because the Palestinians, which are under Israeli control, have no say in these elections, which in which Israel decides whether it will choose peace or settlements. Now, suppose we take one third of the people in this room and we have the other two thirds vote on their fate. Would that be a democracy? Of course not. So for me, with regards, and, and I know it's hard to hear this, but with regards to the Palestinian question and on this topic, Israel is not a democracy it's not a functioning democracy because you can't decide on, on the fate of such a large group of indigenous people without giving them the right to take part in this decision. So Israel can choose a right-wing government. Of course, they do it all the time, Israelis. But, but they don't have, the, it won't give the occupation 